Hi guys and welcome. So today I am going to be sharing with you how to create the little treat bags that I shared earlier this week on Instagram. Um, I am featuring this die set right here. This is a jack-o'-lantern girl face from Scrap Diva Designs. I have a coupon code for you to use. It's patty10 um, for 10% off at checkout. This is really the cutest little die set. Um, you can use it for all kinds of crafts. Today though we are going to be making a little treat bag. So you'll need a piece of paper that measures five by eight and a half and on the five inch side, you're gonna score this at a quarter of an inch, at half an inch, and at three fourths. And then you're gonna move over to this side and you're gonna start at four and one fourth, four and a half, and four and three fourths. Oops. And just like so. You'll turn this to the eight and a half inch side and on the eight and a half inch side, we're gonna score this at four, four and one fourth, and four and a half, okay? And that is what we are left with. Um, we'll fold up on these score marks. Um, so this one right here in the center is going to cr create a little like mountain valley type thing. Um, let me see if I can show you what I mean. <laughs> if I can fold this, this paper is so hard. This is the um, Memory Lane collection from Fancy Pants Designs. It's their fall paper collection. And you guys, it is the sweetest. Um, I don't know why I haven't brought this out sooner. It is so cute. And I did have a few projects planned for this paper. So see if we can get to those this weekend okay so see I folded it and I folded those lines on the eight and a half inch side and they created a little V a little mountain valley ridge and now we are going to fold the other uh, score marks and burnish them as we go and again you're doing the same thing it's like an accordion fold I cannot believe how hard this is, you guys. <laughs> this paper is so thick. I don't think um, I had experienced this before. I've used some of this paper. But I think I didn't make my score marks um, deep enough. So I'm just trying to fold on those score marks. And take your time with this part because... It shouldn't be this difficult, but take your time with this part because um, you want those lines to be straight so that you're treat bag is even and doesn't come out all wonky. <laughs> um, there you go. So this is what the sides should look like. I wanted to get one side done so that you could see and I'll do the other one off camera. Okay. I can't believe how hard that was. <laughs> this is really simple and fast. Okay, so that's what your fold lines should look like in the center. And now I'm going to do this side. Okay, so I folded on all my lines, I burnished them, and now I'm gonna start to trim. I'm gonna trim this off right here. I'm gonna start right here, go up. On this side, there are three score marks. I'm gonna go up all the way to the last one and cut that off. Just like that, that's what you're left with. Trim this up a little bit, okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, go all the way up to that last score line and trim these right here. I wish I had my longer scissors so it could just go with one cut. <laughs> okay, so this is what we have so far. We cut off these two pieces right here and this is what we are left with. So now we need to cut a little piece, a little triangle on these two score lines. We are going to create a little triangle just on those two not doing anything to the third one so see I cut up on this one and this one and we have a little triangle that we've created right there now we're gonna do the same thing on this side just trim that off just like that okay and we're gonna close this up we are going to add our glue let me see if this is And we're going to close up our little bag. Something that I forgot to do was trim the top part to make that little jagged edge. And you know what, guys? I'm going to do it because it's going to drive me crazy if I don't. Hold on one sec. Okay, so all I did was take my um, these pinking shears and I just trimmed up on the top to give my little treat bag a little jagged edge and just add some... Um, you know, just add some interest to the top right there. Make it look like a little treat bag. So we are ready to close this off. We're gonna add this glue to here. 
and we're gonna stick this little um, piece into the triangle that we cut out. That's what we cut it out for, and then we're just gonna close this up. Just like so, lining it up, and closing it off. Let me see if I can fold that in there. Okay, I have so much glue on my hands, you guys, because I removed that glue from earlier. <laughs> and um, it just left so much glue on my fingers. Okay, so now we're gonna take our two handles that we have here. Remember, they measure a quarter of an inch by six inches. And I'm just gonna give those a little curl, add some hot glue. and tuck that right in, about a quarter of an inch down. You don't have to go too far. I'll do the same to this side. I wanna make sure it's straight, and I don't think I did it too straight. There you go. Oh. Let me add some more glue. You can measure this, you guys, or you can just eyeball it like I'm doing here. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's handmade. So that's the beauty of handmade items, the imperfections. And we'll just do the same to the other side. Add some hot glue. Okay, so we've got our little treat bag, we've got our little handles, and then you can just mold those how you'd like them. Isn't this so cute? I love these. I think they're adorable. And so in the end, they measure four by three and a half. So now we're gonna take our sweet little pumpkin face and we are gonna put her together. So I'm gonna add some glue. Add her to my little treat bag. These are my um, is this how they no they went like this yeah like that so then like this okay got it <laughs> I'm like how does this go and then I'm gonna put the nose on because sometimes I tend to put the, the eyes too close together I don't know what that says about me so I'm gonna add my little nose again you can measure this or just eyeball it like I'm doing I got her on and you need to pay, pay close attention to the lashes that's how you know um, where let me see one two one two where to place your or how what how to face your your eyes see how the little lashes are going up um, that is how they are meant to go so you can just compare that isn't she so cute so it also comes with this little bow right here which i did add to the other um little treat bags that i had made but today i think i want to add a little ribbon bow let me see so look this is what i came up with for this one i just added some yarn from the, uh, dollar tree and some little charms that i picked up for my friend ro um she's nifty crafty me on instagram her shop is called the little the happy little corner um and she always has really fun sets that you or bundles that you can pick up so these are some halloween ones that i picked up and so i just added a little witch hat this little tassel that is so cute and this little um pumpkin charm and so see how cute that is you guys and then you can just add you know a little shaker a little embellishment maybe um some beads i picked these up from jersey secret stash and so it would be cute look how fun those are and i love the bag she sent them in um this these might be a little too big but Let's take some out from here because this bag is so stuffed that it burst. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's take some out. And oh, look how cute these are. I hadn't even opened them. <laughs> They're so cute. I love the colors. And so, you know, you could share some beads 
in a little bag like this. This could be a little sweet treat. Or you could send some candy to someone in one of these little bags. And it would just be so, so darling. I love the way this turned out. I love the little charms and the pink with the black. Um, this paper is just awesome. Um, I also have a code for the Fancy Pants paper. So make sure to take advantage of that if you decide to pick up any of their new collections. They have three new collections. The Memory Lane collection. The Happy Halloween collection, which I've used a lot this season. And um, also a Christmas collection that's called Cookies with Kringle. And it's really, really adorable, you guys. So make sure to check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.